All right, so I haven't posted a video in a while. This is uh, it's gonna be about the early signs of spring. Look at this fig tree. It's pretty amazing how even if it looks like it's dead, you know, every year it just comes back. Fig trees are a little bit aggressive. So, you know, as long as you got space for one, they get pretty wide, but you could also prune hard winter or even during this time it's better in the winter but or in midwinter but look at this the signs of spring here's a lower petalum this is the uh, I think it's been the third year in the ground it it was super purple when I got it but then the heat uh, the extreme Sun kind of bleaches it in the in the summer but right now obviously it's in bloom and look at those uh, fuchsia colored flowers it's a dwarf variety it's about a foot and a half tall and about two feet wide but we'll see it's next to the lower petalum it's pretty close I mean the lower petalum is close to the fig tree so it's gonna provide it some shade and then I've said this before but if you don't have any daffodils these are almost spent but they're great they're super reliable super hardy they're more hardy than tulips. You don't have to worry about them. Or you just water them a little bit, and they're really reliable. Every year they come up. Highly recommended for a bulb. This is a dwarf butterfly bush. It didn't go to sleep this year. This is the, I think it's called Lo and Behold. It's about eight inches tall, about a foot across. It's been here for three years. So early signs of spring is just that, you know, it's starting to, new leaves are starting to come out. If you've seen my channel, I used to have these two big standard form um, limelight hydrangea. This is how thick it was. It was basically tree form. But with the extreme heats here, it really gets beat up. So I actually moved them over to a shady area. And um, I had to, it was basically dead from the trunk, from the standard trunk. But it just sprouted new ones and I'm just gonna let it kind of go crazy. And as you can see, it's, pretty, it's healthy, it looks healthy. So I'm just gonna let it kind of form like a bush, but I'm I'm glad it didn't die, you know, and I'm giving it a second opportunity. But they were really, really nice, but you know, um, obviously things don't always go like you wish in the garden, but I'm sure this will look great. This is the second year that it's moved. This is the second year in this location. This is a new addition to the garden. This is a, I believe it's called Nightlight Camiociferous. So, so far, I've been pretty happy with it. It's about uh, close to two feet tall by now, and I got it in, uh, in the fall. It looks great. No problems with the winter, but we'll see how it does with the, with the summer here in zone. It used to be 8A, but now it's 8D. And right behind it, here's the other standard form limelight hydrangea. As you can see, it looks like it's not coming back. And it's pretty obvious to see in the trunk. It's just all, basically falling apart but as the other one one came out off the side side shoot and it's also growing so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my efforts into this one cut this one just cut it completely off all the way to the ground and then just strain this out and I'm gonna try to maybe make it a, a standard I'm not 100% sure yet Here's a Japanese maple that has been in this area, in this spot for, for about five years. The early signs of spring for a Japanese maple. You see the buds start to swell. This one has red fuchsia colored leaves when they come out and then they go green and then they go red again in the, in the fall. But really easy to take care of. Very minimal pruning needed. Um, it does have to have filtered light. You cannot have this tree out in the open with a full light in zone 8A or 8B, you will destroy it. But very easy um, maintenance. This is the first year that I have this Petalsporum. It was a perfect little ball, but unfortunately, uh, one of the brand, one of the sides broke off. I'm not 100% sure why, but you can see that it's starting to bud new uh, leaves. 
so it's really nice looking it handled the, the winter pretty good here i did have it under like a trash can type of thing also so i think that really helped out a lot but you know this pedal sporum i mean it looks real nice but i know it could it struggles with the cold but it did well and next to it i have this japanese irelia and uh also i did the trash can method on it for the cold it did really well i'm quite pleased i think i only lost like you know two or three leaves compared to most of the time when probably more than half of the plant dies and you can see starting to grow new little leaves there so overall quite pleased here's a rose of sharon when i bought it about three years ago it was a foot tall and now it's about almost four feet tall and um, the early signs of spring it starts uh, developing at the tip of the plant and every, every tip it has started developing little little leaves here in a week it'll look pretty nice they these handle the heat really well they do kind of lose a little bit of they kind of yellow in the extreme heat but overall pretty low maintenance and a really nice this one has really nice pink flowers but it's a rose of sharon also another highly recommended plant for zone 8a 8b here's a salvia gregii this is the first year that i have it um i've never had salvia before not this one at least but um i bought it late fall and it was almost bare but it's coming back pretty good and i had to do quite a bit of trimming but we'll see i, um, I heard they take the heat pretty good uh, this was experimental we'll see how it works the mullein grass the mullein grass did work really well i cut it last year i just put a shovel through it and i was able to create another one so pretty good propagation this is a another new addition to the garden this is a desert willow it's called uh, Bubba Desert Willow. We'll see how it does, but I was a little bit concerned because I bought it in the late fall, early winter. It didn't have any leaves, but it's starting to show up a little bit. I just love the way um, the plants start develop, developing the leaves. It's very interesting to me. You know, and, and uh, this is super heat tolerant and drought tolerant so I'm expecting minimal maintenance we'll see how it does I know it drops a lot of seeds but and uh, blue point juniper super low maintenance and this is a youngston juniper in the winter it gets maroon colored but right now it's starting to regain its green and uh, I started with a conifer corner here but most of those conifers could not handle the heat here in Texas zone 8a in the past now zone 8b but junipers do well This is a sunshine ligustrum that I put in a container to transplant from the front yard. Um, I, ha I had to remove two of them because they get quite large and um, they filled in the spot real quick. But the signs of spring are darker colored leaves. Uh, this is a very easy plant to take care of. The only thing is it does grow pretty fast. So if I were you, if I'm going to buy sunshine ligustrum, I would buy the smallest ones that you can find and in one season it'll grow probably 8 to 12 inches uh, I wouldn't spend money on the bigger specimens they grow real fast they're easy to prune the only problem is they, they do grow kind of fast so you know um, be cautious over that don't put them too close to windows or don't put too many bunched up because they will grow fast here's a new tree that I'm trying to grow this year it's called the Carolina Sapphire um, I like the blue bluish color on it we'll see how long I keep it I heard they grow pretty fast but I do like the way it kind of the color contrasts the sunshine ligustrum but we'll see I love conifers they're hard to keep up here in zone 8 B now but we'll see how this does and then this garden is it's just it's pretty hardy stayed out here in the cold and um i put it in a shed in the coldest time of the season but uh, that was just about two days or so but other than that the it blooms white 
flowers they're super fragrant like any other gardenia but quite pleased and also been able to propagate it easy to propagate got a couple of them here but great container plant it's about at this point about two by three probably here are some red tip pothenia they look great they're super susceptible to leaf spawn whenever you give them a trim all the new all the new growth is this super red red tip pothenia or some people think some of it's called red robin but uh and it grows pretty fast here in the middle i got one that i probably planted three years ago that's some foundation work and foundation employees don't really care about shrubs or anything they just tear them out but look at this super bright red and then i have two over here that i actually made into tree forms and these are recovering they look pretty good now but they started pretty bad at one point but pretty proud how they look now so here's the uh another conifer a podocarpus that i bought the end of fall early winter and it did took the winter pretty well and like i said i like conifers they're hard to keep here but uh i've heard this one's pretty hardy in this area so we'll see but i think it's a great addition to the to the garden along with that nightlight camion zippers anyway until next time